In the realm of bodybuilding, the debate between heavyweights and lightweights has long been a point of contention. Conventional wisdom suggests that high reps with lightweights are best for building muscle endurance, while heavier weights in the low to moderate rep range are believed to maximize muscle growth. However, recent research has challenged this notion, leading us to question which approach is truly optimal for muscle growth. In this video, we'll delve into the research findings and explore a balanced strategy to achieve maximum muscle gains. First, let's discuss about the research findings. Stuart Phillips and his colleagues conducted crucial studies in 2012 and 2016 to investigate the impact of heavy versus light weights on muscle growth. The initial study involved 18 male subjects training their legs on the leg extension machine for 10 weeks. One group used 30% of their one rep max for higher reps, while the other used 80% of their one rep max for lower reps. Surprisingly, both groups showed nearly identical quadriceps muscle growth, sparking debates due to the use of untrained beginners as subjects. To address the criticism, a 2016 study with 49 men having four years of lifting experience was conducted. This time, they used a whole body resistance training program. The results reaffirmed the earlier findings, indicating that both light and heavy weights elicited equal amounts of muscle growth and fiber growth when volume and proximity to failure were controlled. Strength gains were another aspect examined in relevant studies, with a meta-analysis of eight studies showing that heavy weights tended to be more effective in promoting strength gains compared to lighter weights. To make sense of these findings and create an effective workout plan for muscle growth, it's essential to understand the two main mechanisms involved, mechanical tension and metabolic stress, which we have discussed on our previous video. Click that I button to know more about this. When you lift heavier weights, you induce more mechanical tension, while lighter weights for higher reps lead to increased metabolic stress. To maximize muscle growth, a balanced approach is recommended. Focus on heavy compound movements to build strength, as this serves as the foundation for long-term progress. Compound exercises like squats, deadlifts, and bench presses are ideal for heavy lifting. Aim to work close to failure with these movements. However, to also stimulate hypertrophy through metabolic stress, incorporate higher rep ranges and lower weights into accessory movements after your compound sets. Techniques like drop sets and reverse pyramid training can be used to achieve this. Additionally, consider performing a few sets of 25 to 40 reps to near failure towards the end of your workout to tap into multiple pathways for muscle growth. In conclusion, the age-old debate between heavyweights and lightweights for muscle growth has been put to rest by recent research. Both approaches can lead to similar muscle gains when volume and proximity to failure are taken into account. For optimal results, incorporate a balanced strategy that includes heavy compound movements for strength and metabolic stress-inducing techniques in accessory exercises. By doing so, you can maximize your muscle growth potential and achieve your bodybuilding goals effectively. Thank you for watching today's video. If you found the content helpful, please show your support by giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel for more informative videos. Don't forget to share it with your friends who might also benefit from the information. Also, feel free to explore our other videos and playlists for more great content related to fitness and muscle growth. We value your feedback. So if you have any suggestions or comments, please let us know in the comments section below.